In addition to these global wind patterns that we discussed in our last video, we also have local wind patterns as well. And here, most of the differences are caused by temperature differences, things getting hotter during the day when it's receiving sunlight and getting colder at night once all of the land starts releasing the heat. And we're going to discuss three types of these local or small scale winds, the land and sea breezes, as well as mountain and valley breezes, and then finally the Chinook and Santa Ana winds. Our first type of local wind are our land and sea breezes. And this happens around an ocean, specifically around beach or coastal areas. And here we're going to see that the direction of the wind is going to change between day and night due to differences on how hot or how cool the air is, which is going to depend on how hot or how cool the water is. During the day, along our beach, our land is going to get incredibly hot, whereas the ocean water is going to stay relatively cool. Here, we're going to have a high pressure system developing over the water and a low pressure system over that hot land. And knowing that air always moves from high to low pressure, we're going to be having wind that's moving from our cool sea into our hot land. And we call this a sea breeze and it reaches its greatest intensity during the afternoon. So if you've been to the beach around 2 p.m. and you feel this really nice cool breeze coming in from the water, that's called a sea breeze. But at night, this is going to reverse. And instead of having a sea breeze, what will develop is called a land breeze. And that's because at night, now our land is cool. It's given off all of the heat it received during the day. And our oceans are still warm because they have that high specific heat. So now we have a high pressure over the land, low pressure over the water. So the wind is going to move from the land to the water. It's taking that cool air from the land and moving it out over the oceans. Our second type of local wind are called the mountain and valley breezes. And these again move different directions depending on whether it's day or night. So during the day, we're going to see that the air above our mountains here, the solid rock is going to absorb a lot of heat. It's going to get hot and it's going to cause the air above it to warm as well. And warm air rises. It's going to create a valley breeze where air starts moving from the valley upwards up the slope of the mountain. Because the air is leaving the valley and moving upwards, it has to be replaced. And it's going to be replaced by cold sinking air moving into the valley. But at night, we're going to have a mountain breeze develop in this area. Now the air along the slopes of our mountain are going to cool off very quickly at night once they've given off all of the radiation they received during the day from the sun. And as it cools off, that air is going to contract, it's going to get denser, and it's going to start sinking down the sides of the mountain, moving into the valley. Because we have lots of air entering to the valley, some is going to have to escape. So that warm escaping air is going to rise up towards the center of the valley, completing the cycle. And then finally, our third type of local wind also deals with mountains, but very large mountain ranges like the Rockies. Here, once we have air moving up the slopes of the Rockies, once it starts moving down the slope on the opposite side, it's going to have very warm, dry air associated with it. And we call this the Chinooks. But in Southern California, we have a Chinook-like wind that's not along a massive mountain range, but is along smaller mountains in California, and we call these the Santa Anas.